All right, we here with the legendary Black Watch. Black Watch, I want to tell you, man, thank you, man, for coming through Big Cash Now on OTV. Appreciate giving us some of your time and chopping it up with us. How you living? I'm good, bro. Everything, everything, you know what I'm saying? Just blessed to be alive, man. In front of people still. We're still here, let's go. All right, man, I completely get it, man. So, let's 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 get straight into it, man. Let's do it. I mean, I know you rep the now to the death. Where are you originally from? I'm from here. Okay. I was born in New York. And um, you know what I'm saying? We uh we migrated south and I've been here ever since I was like five years old. So I am um, you know what I'm saying, fed and raised Carolina all day. Gotcha. So so you feel like has New York influenced, you know, your style and your hip hop journey any or is it is it very home? very much so style? Everything, you know what I'm saying? It's it's in my blood, you know what I'm saying? It's just it is what it is. That's that that's the it's uh, my era, you know what I'm saying, when I was born is like the birth of hip hop when it started. So I caught on in like the the early eighties. I always wonder what song or what, what was going on when I caught that, you know what I'm saying, that bug, but I can't pinpoint it. It's just it's just it is what it is. It's just always been. You know I know what it was for me. For me, it was the purple tape, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, it's, it's so many levels way before that, bro. With me, it's just, I'm talking. And even back then, it was it was mixtape level. You know what I'm saying? The, like with, with with the radios and, you know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the BLSs and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? We, um, Cats was bringing those mixtapes down. And um, that's, what, that's what we grew up off of, man. Yeah. Everything that was coming out was, you know what I'm saying? New York had an influence on pretty much the whole East Coast. Because that's, that's what was doing, you know what I'm saying? Setting the trends for the culture at that, at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Before it caught on worldwide. So, of course, you know what I'm saying? New York influenced my style. You know what I'm saying? My favorite MC to this day is Ghostface. Word, you know what I'm saying? Word. But the foundation of... Of, of just rap, man, you know what I'm saying? I was just speaking earlier, like when we was young, fourth, fifth grade, niggas was talent shows and shit, you know what I'm saying? I was had to the side, the big clock, like Flavor Flav, beatboxing and shit. My nigga Zeph Lessons was rapping, you know what I'm saying? That's fourth, fifth grade, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day when you used to post your desk up with the posters out of the, you know what I'm saying, the magazines. And the Word Up magazine. Yeah, the Word Up magazine. Put them inside your locker. That's a fact. So sixth grade going into, that's a trend, whole transition, going into middle school, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying, the hip hop carried on. I was into KRS, you know what I'm saying, of course, Rakim, just wondering how these guys was doing it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, crazy but it had a big influence then like it do now but it had a real real you know what I'm saying influence on the kids growing up in that era man that's, that's what we had breaking niggas was breaking niggas was spray painting and even in the suburbs down here where we was at so you know what I'm saying but see that, that's what I was gonna say like um like now it's such a big influence but it's such a big influence because it's pop culture like hip-hop basically is pop culture we created the modern pop culture but back then it was those people that just saw it in their heart that was hip hop and they already was something about them that they last on their hip hop. And like you said, they may have even been from the suburbs, you know, but right. it's, you know, they, they fell in love with it at that time because they was living in it at that time. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Right. That's so, definitely real. Right. So, I mean, I know you spoke, spoke about Zeph Lesson and a few other people. You know, you're a veteran out here, you know, in, in East Vietnam, you know, rap streets, you know, even work with like Bob Shelton and the All Terrain crew in the past. Yes. So, um, can you, you know, share some memorable moments from, you know, back in the days with Zeph and, you know, you know, being in the shelter with Nerve, you know, it, being coming up with Izzy, being in those studios and just some of your most memorable moments, man. It's, it's, it's so many, man. It's, it's endless, bro. But, um, um, on the subject of Zeph Lessons, my nigga, we, we sandbox. You know what I'm saying? That's he's part of 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 my hip hop journey. You know what I'm saying? I learned really learned how to rap from him. You know what I'm saying? Some aspects of it and other cats that was around, but but 
um, I wrote my first rap at 16, man, and I ran. That's the first nigga probably heard it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because like I said, before then, it was like, damn, I want to do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do I do this? And I sat down and I did it, because I seen him do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back when the Casio came out, the little, you know what I'm saying, little 12-inch joint, the nigga, he had that, and he was doing that. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So he was rapping then, and um, that was my first group, me and him. We was we was Grey Matter back in like 90, 94, 5, you know what I'm saying, when the shit was crazy. Is that when you was doing the talent shows? Nah, that was, that was me and him in 4th, 5th grade, though. Okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, so four we go back. Seven. We go back like that. That sandbox, bro, for yeah. real. So about 14, 15, y'all was really laying down. Yeah, right? yeah, we was yeah. doing that. And um, actually, Zeph Lessons introduced me to Easy Nice. Also, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That that was in the backpack era. You know what I'm saying? We did a talent show. I mean, uh, not a talent show, but a show at um at Westover. That's when I first met Izzy and shit. And um, you know what I mean? And, and it just went on. And we, it was just so many of us back in the day, man, but you know what I'm saying, just, just the west side, you know what I'm saying, uh, Bomb Shelter, of course, Nerve, you know what I'm saying, R.I.P. Filthy Rich, my yeah. nigga. How was it like working with him in the studio back in the day? Filthy? Yeah, yeah. Filthy was the same nigga from he was then to the, to the day he passed, man, but you know, life be life, and man, so you yeah. know, we, we, we get older, go through things, and... You know what I'm saying? Some cats don't understand, but you know what I mean? Filthy, Filthy was the illest, man. His, his style was always, was always unorthodox. Ain't, ain't no front, ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? His favorite, his favorite artist was Red Man. I tell you that to his day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know how awkward Red Man was as far yeah. as his style, but you know what I'm saying? He, he still did what he did. Yeah. You talk about OGs, that's my OG. I see, like, I be seeing Red Man, like, his new video. Yeah. I be like, damn, that nigga yeah. still coming with it. But, so that, that, yeah. that's, that's, that's it, you know what I'm saying? And probably more comfortable coming with it because now it ain't no label around him choking him. He just doing this, this shit is crazy. Yeah. So, you know, it feel good. It feel good at our at our level right now as we look back and all the shit we did. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying, where we coming from to right now as we speak and still have these, these same cats that we came up off of. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Redman taught a lot of niggas how to roll the blunt. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. and that's a fact. So we learned a lot from from hip hop, whether you know what I'm saying, it was, you know what I mean, good or bad, you know what I'm saying, it raised a generation. Yeah. What's you know what, what, you, what you think about it right now? The state of the game right the now. The state of the game, man. <sighs> Bro, that's a with the drill and all of that and everything. I mean, you know what I mean? The, the, the music is the music, man, but it's 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 the game, you know what I'm saying? It's it's the it's the, the I don't know, bro. I can't really describe it. It's, it's deep, but you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, man. It's got to be deeper than than what these cats are, are are doing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's the music always been gangster. It's always been hardcore. It's always been. Whatever, I was riding on the highway the other day listening to some Ice Cube, nigga. That was the LS nigga doing it, nigga. You get me? I'm talking crazy talk. You know what I mean? Back then. But these young niggas is on some different shit, you know what I'm saying? And we we just got to get out of their way. Yeah. Let them do what they do. But you know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I mean? The game is promoted in a whole different level. It's, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's different levels to it, bro. It's how they... How how we get our our mental food off this internet and all that type shit. Even beyond the music, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Everything we everything we do now is it's mind control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So so whatever's is, whatever is making the money, that's what that's where it's gonna go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so sometimes I wonder, is it too, with the sexy red and like all of that and like the Sukiyana, like, is it too much, right? Is it, is it going too far? Of course, it's, it's been going too far, bro. But you know what I'm saying? Sex sells, you know uh, what I'm saying? This shit is, it's, 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 it's at a different level right now, bro. You know uh, what I'm saying? It's, you know what I mean? It's, and it's plain to see, they ain't hiding it. Yeah. Uh, you know but it's, I mean, it's, it's um, so who's, who's, who's the, the, the people that's right now that you fuck with, that you respect what they're doing? 
I mean, it's a, it's a whole bunch of people, bro. But you know, but we're gonna talk. We we gonna keep it on. We gonna keep it on the style of music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, the Griselda wave. They always they 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 came in and 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 coined in on the sound that we've been doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and made it popular. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Without radio. Yeah. In the in the in the air of radio. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas that's that's that I mean you listen to that radio all day. You don't hear them niggas. Yeah, no. But they they they, they 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 really in my opinion, they benefited a lot off like the YouTube come up like during the era when YouTube was letting a lot of shit be like Larry June and them like they came up and they was come, like like Rock Marcy too. Yeah. yeah, they was making hard shit and it just got through man and they created like incredible careers off of that shit, yo. Yeah. It's crazy. So you know, it's it's a whole bunch of shit that I like, man. I still listen to old nigga shit. Yeah. That's still dropping dropping joints, you know what I'm saying? But you know, ghost too, ghost, ghost, yeah. Every time. Like I say, that's my favorite MC, man. You know, it's that era, bro. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just, you know what I'm saying? What's um? Is is the Supreme clientele the best ghost album? I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's it's like a it's like a foot in front of like a step in front of Pretty Tony, bro. It's it's you can see the level up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's the level up from the one, two, or three. Yeah. yeah. I used to, I used to argue with this one all the time over whether it was um, the first like the Iron Man or the or the Supreme Clientele. Iron Man. It's, it's Pretty Tony and Supreme Clientele. It's, yeah. yeah, Iron Man. Like I said, but Iron Man was from that that time period. Yeah, that, the that, that's that's coming off the, that's coming off the back of the purple tape. Yeah. So you, you know what I'm saying. So they was in a zone, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean. So, yeah. but when that pretty Tony came out, that was that was him. Yeah, you know. So they was they was they was hot then. And they was young. Yeah, they was young. They was hungry. Yeah. So. Hey. Yeah.